Hey guys, what is going on? This is I, Apple Geek, and today I want to show you guys how to downgrade from iOS 12 back to iOS 11. Now, of course, this will work as long as Apple is still signing the latest version of iOS 11. Once they stop signing that, there is no way to go back. Now, this year with iOS 12, things are a little bit different. You are going to need an iOS 11 backup if you do want to downgrade. It's not like before where you'd keep all your stuff after a downgrade. This time around, we actually have to delete your stuff simply because iOS 12 has a different file system and jamming iOS 11 on top of that simply just screws up everything. So if you do not have a backup for iOS 11, then unfortunately you are out of luck and you just have to stay on iOS 12 for the time being. You can still go back to iOS 11, but you'll probably just lose all your information. All right, so the first step is to obviously check for compatibility. So go to this website, uh, select your device, mine is an iPhone 10, and then in here you should be able to see your latest version being signed if it's in one of the red if iOS 11 is red that means you can't go back to it if it's green just go ahead and click on that and hit the big blue download button and save that download file to somewhere accessible I already have it downloaded so I don't need to do it again of course I'll leave links for this down below all right once that file is downloaded you can go ahead and plug in your device to your computer if you have a dongle book pro you are going to need an adapter I'll link a video about that in the description inside of iTunes just navigate to your device menu and then in here we have our traditional check for update and restore options. Now obviously you should back up again before you do this, just in case something goes wrong. Just make sure you don't override any old backups you might have. If that's the case, be sure you go and back up the iTunes library folder inside your file system. Now at this point you will need to go on your device and disable Find My iPhone. So just go into your iCloud settings and turn that off. Now this is where it's different, because you can't use the check for update option anymore, you have to use the restore iPhone button, which is why you need that backup in order to save your information. And you can't use an iOS 12 backup, so you must have one on iOS 11. Now on a Mac machine, go ahead and hold down the option key. On Windows, you'll want to hold shift, and then go ahead and click on restore iPhone. In this menu, you just want to navigate to where you saved that IPSW file. I have it saved on my hard drive. Go ahead and select on that and make sure it works for your device. Hit restore. And now your phone should start to have this loading bar thing after iTunes extracts the firmware. And through the magic of video editing, we are done and we are setting up our device again, but this time on iOS 11. Of course, here you'll want to set up all your stuff as you did before and restore for a backup that you made on iOS 11. iOS 12 backups won't work. If you do not have a backup or if iTunes kind of overwrote yours, or if you don't have one saved in iCloud, then you just have to stick with iOS 12. It's not that big of a change, so I don't think the transition will be too difficult. But anyways guys, that'll be it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. I can't wait for the new iPhones to come out this month, so make sure you're subscribed for that. But anyways guys, until next time, peace.